uh, welcome you all ICT unit of uh, Sonal Education Office Gampaha has organized ICT seminar series for you all so uh, today is the first day of that even we are having a, a bad weather here we uh, thought of starting uh, I want to uh, first I want to thanks um, our Sonal ICT directress uh, Miss uh, Srimali and the ISA uh, Mr. Chanakan Jagat uh, for organizing such an event for you all. If I uh, talk about this seminar series, so every uh, Wednesday you will be having a seminar from uh, 7 to 9 p.m. every Wednesday. Parallelly, we are having a single medium one also uh, that is uh, on uh, Monday to uh, Monday and Fridays. But here we are starting English medium one. Most of the students have requested to uh, conduct English medium seminar for you all. So we, we have decided to uh, start uh, the seminar. So if I talk about this seminar series, uh, you will be getting a chance. You will be having a chance to revise what you have learned from grade 10 and 11 both. Because we we are discussing, we are actually we are summarizing all the units uh, from uh, grade 10 and 11. Then uh, uh, after that, we thought of uh, discussing some uh, uh, exam-oriented uh, model papers also. So this is how uh, this seminar uh, will be going on and uh, we, we, we have planned actually we have planned uh, to select uh, uh, students who are taking higher because uh, each and every um, session you will be getting uh, MCQ paper online MCQ paper around uh, 20 30 questions will be there uh, from that we are going to select uh, students who are taking the highest marks then uh, we thought of giving you a valuable certificate through the Sonal Education Office Gampa and uh, kind of a gift voucher also. So uh, stay until the end of the program and participate for the online quiz also. Uh, if I talk about myself, I am my city teacher from Takchila College Gampa. So I am conducting today's session. There are some more teachers are involved in with this. So you will be getting different experience with them later. So uh, today I am going to discuss unit uh, one, two, and three from the grade ten. Grade ten syllabus. We I am going to uh, discuss unit one, two, and three. Uh, meanwhile, you will be getting kind of uh, um, MCQ questions, and I thought of discussing. Uh, question related to these three units, past paper questions, which has come from uh, 2019, that is last year and the uh, previous year thought of, if we have time, if we can manage time, we can discuss more and model questions also, right? Okay, I will start the session. So when you take the unit one, that is uh, basic, basic things, because uh, no need to write and all that, you just uh, listen to me carefully. I am revising because you have done this stuff uh, uh, earlier, maybe several times even from the school, from the classes even, but it still doesn't matter. You uh, listen to me carefully, then you can revise anything um, that you, you can uh, rewind, rewind. Okay. So when you take a computer, now you have data and information. After processing, you get information, right? So data means what? It's a collection of properties like numbers, characters, uh, symbols, those are called data. After processing, after processing, you get information. After processing, you get information. Now I take a small example. I'm taking small numbers like something like this. So these are the numbers. Uh, I think nobody can uh, say what is this. These are only just numbers. You can't take any decisions, so there's no meaning in data. 
but my processing my processing in i am addition addition is my process addition is my process so after adding them together i am getting total is 60 total is 60 now this is called information now you had data after processing you get information so uh, you can take another example i will tell another example in your school you are getting uh, subject marks is subject you are getting marks after finding the average after finding the average you are getting the rank okay who is the first in the class second like that so your marks are data after processing that mean finding average those stuff are called processing after that you are getting information that is your rank so that is the basic thing when you are taking the information system given now when you take information system data will be uh, input to the system after processing output will be the information right so that is the basic thing uh, data and information when i talk about uh, uh, i am bit uh, going bit uh, quickly i uh, i will be covering this stuff quickly uh, then uh, when you take uh, information uh, communication technology ict there are different sectors that involving ict now uh, in schools uh, actually education sector it's involving then uh, medical sector you can see them then transportation you can see them i will uh, show you a small example now here medical sector now you can see some mri scanners ct scanners uh, eeg here then ecg those are called uh, those are used in medical sector these instruments are used in medical sector if you uh, go to other sectors now uh, if i show you something like this um different uh, for the entertainment entertainment i'll show you this one this is related to uh, creating uh, movies and all that right so jurassic world you have watched this one right so how they are creating how they are doing their movies so the, everything based on ict everything based on i see so i'm not going to uh, play it for a long time right uh, then uh, like that so different uh, in agriculture even you can find them agriculture even you can find them now uh, then we'll uh, go to the services provided by the government government is providing some services through ict so those services can be divided to uh, government to government is providing services so, uh, sri lankan government is providing some services to indian government something like that then government to citizens we are getting some services uh, we can uh, pay our electricity bill through uh, ceb.lk website then if you go to uh, revenue license we can uh, take our revenue license through the uh, websites so those are the services that provide by the government to the citizens like that government is providing service to business also businesses businesses also paying taxes and all that can be done through the uh, website no need to go right and uh, another thing government to uh, employees government employees especially uh, like uh, teachers like us we are getting some uh, services through uh, government that is uh, you can go through the their uh, site websites and we can get some uh, related information forms so those stuff we can take right so these are the services that are providing government by to customer sorry uh, citizens government other government businesses and uh, employees right then uh, we will go to the another thing now this is all about uh, unit 
I am summarizing only. Then uh, when we are using the computer, uh, there are different uh, generations. In generations, uh, we got uh, different things in the, like uh, in the first generation, second, third, like that we can divide them. So first generation, we had vacuum tubes. Second generation, transistor. Third, uh, integrated circuit or IC. Uh, fourth generation microprocessors, VLSI, then uh, fifth generation artificial intelligence, VLSI. So these things you have to memorize. These things you have to memorize. We'll uh, go to uh, some uh, things uh, like uh, unit two, unit two, how to um, identify the computer and all this stuff. When you take a computer, you have different types of devices, different types of devices available, input devices, output devices, storage devices, uh, and all that. So input devices we use to input data to the computer. Uh, if I tell some examples, uh, keyboard, mouse, um, scanner, web camera, now through my web camera, you all can see me, right? Now, if you switch on the web camera, I can see you all, right? So that is input device, right? So uh, we can input our data to the computer. So output device means, output device mean, means you can take your data, what, what is inside the computer, you can take them out, right? Printers, monitors, uh, scanners, sorry, uh, printers, monitors, speakers, a plotter that you can uh, print some uh, maps and all that. So those are called output devices. Then you have storage devices. Storage devices you can divide primary and secondary. Primary storage are there, secondary storage is there. So primary storage means actually it is uh, uh, within within the computer. We are telling it's within the computer. You can uh, you have heard about this stuff: RAM, ROM, then uh, cache memory, registers. So those are coming under primary. Secondary means it's a, actually it's a permanent memory, permanent memory inside or outside the computer. Inside you have hard disk, but outside you have CDs, DVDs. Uh, pen drives, uh, magnetic tapes, those stuff you can take as a secondary storage. Then uh, when you are, uh, classify the computers, you can classify the computers according to according to size, according to technology, or according to purpose even it's possible. Right, according to purpose, in it's possible, it's not in the book, in your great end book, it's not there, but I'll tell you. Size, you, uh, you can uh, classify them, uh, supercomputers, mini computers, mainframe, uh, like that. Uh, technology, uh, analog, digital, hybrid. Then purpose, even you can uh, classify according to general purpose and according to special purpose. Now, if you take supercomputers and all that, we are telling those are supercomputers, uh, those are special purpose, special purpose. We can't take them to our uh, home and we can't do our day-to-day -day work with the supercomputers, right? Uh, same as now we uh, in uh, hospitals, uh, scanners, those stuffs are involved with this kind of special purpose computer. Normal computer, we can't scan our body, those stuff we can't do, right? So purpose even you can, uh, classify them general purpose and special purpose is there, right? Then, uh, if, you uh, if you take uh, architecture of computer, architecture of computer, you have processor inside the processor, I'll tell CPUs and processing unit. You have inside that control unit, ALU, and registers. These are the three things you can have. So input devices from here, then you have output devices, then your memory, primary and what we discussed just now, secondary memory is there. So those are uh, uh, connecting together. So this is the structure of the computer. Uh, remember that um, 
structure because sometimes you will be getting question from that part also. Then uh, I'll talk about uh, different types of uh, printers are there, different types of monitors are there, different types of printers are there. So when you take monitors, uh, LCD, LED monitors, other than that you have CRT monitor also. Right? So difference between CRT monitors and LCD monitors, L LCD, LED, both uh, just like. Uh, the difference is now uh, CRT monitor, it uh, consumes a uh, huge uh, electricity actually. Uh, than the LCD LED and uh, taking uh, more space to keep now taking space more space to keep in a uh, CRT uh, the, than the LCD LED right then we when we take uh, different types of printers also printers uh, non-impact and impact printers are there yeah? under that impact printers you can take example dot matrix uh, DCV line printers uh, non-impact um, inkjet uh, laser printers thermal printers right actually from these uh, two units you will be getting mcqs most of the mcqs uh, we'll see uh, how the patients has come in uh, past papers then uh, when you take uh, when you discuss this uh, storage devices we can um, divide them magnetic storage media then optical and solid state. These are the three types of uh, storage medium. So whatever the storage medium will be categorized under this. So if you take magnetic medium, like a hard disk, earlier we had some magnetic card, nowadays we are getting actual solid state type of thing. Uh, magnetic tape, floppy disk, maybe you, have, you haven't seen floppy disk. Now you don't get the floppy disk driver even in the computer, even when you buy a computer. You, you don't get them. Uh, magnetic yeah, optical, optical means CD, DVDs, and Blu rays. Then solid state. Nowadays, we are like mostly using this one uh, pen drives, uh, memory cards, memory chips, right? Those are coming under solid state. Then uh, different types of ports different ports are there why we need ports to connect the devices to the computer to connect devices to the computer we need ports there are different types of ports ps2 uh, serial parallel vga hdmi usb Right. So nowadays, most popular port is USB. USB. Now we don't get PS2 serial parallel. VGA still we are having, but some uh, when you take laptops, you don't get VGA even. You will be getting HDMI. So these are the most popular uh, ports. So why why we need them? Now when you take USB port, now you know uh, when you when you need to. Uh, charge your mobile phone even you you are plugging it to the usb port why it is uh, important uh, through the usb port it can take the power five voltage power current can take to the device so that is the most uh, uh, important advantage of usb other than that it is plug and play plug and play means as soon as you plug it you can make it work but as example, I will tell you, if you take PS2 port, I don't know whether you have seen like a circle thing, you have small holes, right? You can use that for the connecting um, keyboard and mouse, different colors are there for green and uh, magenta for the devices. But uh, while you are working, suppose you remove the uh, mouse, which you have plugged to the PS2 port, right? Then after that, you are plugging again but it won't work it won't work you have to restart the computer to make it work so that is the problem you have but usb the anytime you can plug and play doesn't matter and it is taking the power even now when you take some uh, speakers and all that you don't have separate uh, power cables you can connect it to the uh, 
uh, USB uh, port without any problem, right? So that, that's there. Then HDMI is replacing VGA, right? HDMI, the difference is you can take uh, visual and audio and uh, video both. Through the HDMI, you can take the audio even, right? But VGA, you can have only graphic that is a visual load, right? That's a difference. So that is all about uh, ports. Then I'll talk about uh, data communication. Data communication, having a network, what are the advantages having a network? So you can communicate with others, you can share your devices with others. If you have, suppose you have a printer. So you, you want to uh, share with uh, several people. You have only one printer in your say, school uh, lab, but all the computers that are connected to the network can take a printout from them, right? That is a basic advantage of having network. Other than that, you can ch uh, chat, kind of, you can send mails, uh, no need to have internet. Without internet, through the internet, that is called intranet. Intranet, through the internet even, you can uh, communicate with others, you can share your files, all this stuff, right? So that is uh, like, uh, those are the advantages of network. So you have disadvantage also. Disadvantage means suppose you got a virus in one computer, it can spread to all other computers. That is a disadvantage. Another thing, uh, hacking. Someone else can uh, hack your computer or uh, enter your computer without your knowledge, without your knowledge. So, uh, and uh, uh, if you take um, basically uh, the uh, amount you have to spend for uh, um, uh, instrument like uh, switches, routers, those stuff, cables, uh, that is also a bit expensive. That is also we can take as a disadvantage also, right? Then when you are uh, uh, transmitting or data transmission media, you have two different media, guided and unguided, right? So guided media means the physical media, right? You can, that, there you can touch the cables, Cables are there, different types of cable, twisted pair wire, coaxial cable, uh, fiber optic, right? those are the cables. Uh, twisted pair wire also you have, shield and unshield twisted pair wire. Okay? So those are called guided media. Unguided means that the data transmit through the air, through the air. So air is the medium, air is the medium. Uh, infrared, uh, Radio transmission like Bluetooth and Wi Fi are coming under radio transmission, radio waves. Uh, then uh, infrared uh, microwaves, right? Those stuff you can take unguided me, right? Then uh, there are different types of uh, transmission uh, ways that is, uh, simplex, simplex. Half duplex and full duplex or duplex even you can tell without just duplex the word duplex even same meaning right full duplex so simplex means your data is uh, if you take uh, from here to here your data say A to B your data is going from A to B only one side door one side door now this is called uh, Simplex, your data is going from one side only. Now, in this um, uh, session, I don't uh, allow you to uh, switch on your mic. So this is kind of a simplex, but still you can uh, send your message through the chat, right? So can't tell it is simplex, but uh, when you uh, consider about the voice, this is only simplex because I only can uh, talk to you, you uh, cannot talk to me back, right? So this is simplex. Simplex, if you take a basically uh, very common example for the simplex is radio uh, broadcasting, television, uh, this telecasting, those stuff you can take a simplex. Half duplex means you can go both sides, but one at a time, one at a time. So walkie talkie is the common example you are taking. Walkie talkie is the common example. Uh, if you are sending a fax even, sending a fax even, you can take under half duplex. Then full duplex means you can go both sides at the same time. Normal discussion, not this one, 
normal discussion, you can take this as a uh, full duplex um, data transmission, right? So those things uh, uh, you should uh, know the, those stuff. Then different uh, uh, devices are there when you are connecting to the computer. From that you have a router. All of you know what is router. So through the router we can connect it to the internet. Actually connecting to one network to another network. Connecting one network to another net network is done by the router. So you have something called firewall. If you take firewall, so firewall is used to protect our network. It won't allow unauthorized people to access our network. Unauthorized people to access our network. It won't allow, right? So firewall is there. Then switch or hub is there. So switch and hub both are using to connect computers together. Now, see the difference. Router is used to connect one network to another network. Our home network, we are connecting to the internet, two different networks. But if you take switch and hub, we are using them to connect computers together, connect computers together. So what is the difference between the switch and hub? When you take switch, you can uh, uh, connect uh, that same, same thing you can do. That's what I told you. Suppose you have computers like this. In the middle, you have switch. Suppose uh, this computer want to send a message to this one. So this is coming to the switch. Then switch is checking its IP address and MAC address and sending that message to the relevant computer only, relevant computer only. But when you take hub, when you take hub, now this is called, switch is called intelligent, intelligent device. If you take hub, now again, I'm sending this data to this one. After coming here, hub, he, he can't understand uh, which, which computer he should send. So he's sending to all the computers, all these computers. But they are, what they are doing? Are they accepting? No, they are not accepting. They are sending back, sending back, sending back. This one only take the data. But with the hub, what, what will happen? Unnecessary traffic will be generated because this data is going from here and he is not accepting, it is coming again here. So this, at that time, the media is occupied by that data, unnecessary data. So we are telling this is uh, generating unnecessary uh, traffic, right? And the uh, other thing is that when you are comparing the switch and hub, switch is intelligent, hub is not like that. So switch is uh, sending the relevant computer only, but hub is sending to all, even they are not accepting, right? And the other thing is switch is full duplex. Switch is full duplex. When you take hub is half duplex. Hub is half duplex. So those are the things that you are getting for the exam also for the MCQ you are getting this kind of correction. Then different types of network. Network types are there. Uh, land, local area network, metropolitan area network. Van, wide area network. So land is uh, related to a small area, like a building, um, a school even, you can take land, local area network. Usually we are using twisted pair wires, maybe a um, fiber optic cable. If you have money, you can use fiber optic cable. So we are using them to connect the computers through the land. Man, metropolitan area network means like um, it has spread around in, in a city, like uh, around six, uh, 10 to 15 by 20 kilometers, right? When wide area network means connecting different countries, spreading uh, 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 worldwide, right? So wide area network, right? You can use satellite or cables. There are different types of cable under sea. Uh, so that is where. Then you have different types of topologies. Topologies we are using to connect computers within a network. Connect computers within a network. You have a star topology, star topology, uh, ring, bus, tree, mesh, right? Hybrid, there are different, but you, you I think you have uh, this stuff for the your syllabus, star topology is there. Uh, uh, 
then uh, ring topology is there, bus topology is there, free topology is there, mesh topology is there, right? So different types of topologies are there. But remember, uh, only in star topology, you can have centralized node, centralized node then these computers are connected like this, right? You don't want to connect the central node like in the picture. You can have central node here and you can have the other computers connected like this even. So most of the time in schools, you are getting this type of uh, topology that is called a star topology. Why we are having that? If something happened to this computer, still your whole network uh, will be working without any problem, right? But something happened to the centralized node, the whole network will be not working. But other networks, you don't get the, that. But when you take free topology, free topology, we are telling it is a combination of ring and, so, uh, sorry, star and bus, star and bus, right? So here, even you will be getting this kind of a central node, but others you don't get when you take ring topology, your computers are connecting like this. Your data is going only one side clockwise or counterclockwise. You don't get both sides. So if something happened to this computer, your network, whole network will be damaged, right? So you can't communicate with others. Right? So because of that, uh, star topology, we are uh, tend to use this kind of a topology in our uh, most of the networks, right? Then uh, Okay, I uh, talk about the if, uh, what are the advantage and disadvantage of uh, computer networks also. Okay, I am sending, I am uh, giving you a small kind of a poll. Like MCQ, few MC questions, MCQ questions are there. Uh, you can, uh, now you can answer them. And that is based on uh, first two lessons. Now in your screen, you can see that. So you can answer it, answer them, then we'll discuss. That is based on first two units. Before we go to the third unit, uh, just go through that and try to answer. After finishing, you can submit it. Don't take too much time. I'm giving only 10 minutes to complete.
Okay, we'll see. Now enough time. I'm ending the poll and I'm sharing the result. Okay. So, uh, first man-made computing device. So, man-made computing device, right? So, that should be Abacus. Most of you have put the correct answers. Then, uh, is considered the father of computer. That is Charles Babbage. 90% of you have put the correct answer. Now, you all can see what you have done. But, unfortunately, seven people have uh, put the Blaise Pascal even. So, you have to work hard. Don't neglect this work. Then, uh, first generation computer used uh, vacuum tubes. 96% have put the correct answer. Mathematical calculation now done by ALU arithmetic logic unit. Uh, 99 uh, students have put the correct answer, but uh, one has put the uh, incorrect one. So, fairly new part introduced uh, that is a USB uh, universal serial bus. So that is the new one out of these things. Out of these things, that is the new one in 1997. Uh, this unit is used to cool the processor, heat sinks, 41. Some of you have put a radiator. Radiator is there in uh, vehicles. You don't get them in the computer, right? Right, those 26 students have put radiator. Okay, uh, an example of an input device is uh, keyboard. Uh, some two students have put monitor even. I don't know why is that. The most general term used to describe. Uh, sorry, uh, most general terms used to describe the physical component as hardware. Which of the following is considered as a raw data? Marks of read by student in the class. Which is not a function of the mouse. Run. You can't run. You have to take the mouse and run. Right. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, now I can see uh, some of you have still still in progress. Uh, so uh, you have to like don't uh, just give up these uh, units because uh, I I'll show you. Uh, how many questions has come from this one, unit one, unit two, and unit three uh, for the last few years, right? So don't neglect them, don't um, just uh, avoid them. You have to work hard now. Here, that I saw one uh, around 26 students have put uh, um, instead of heat sink, you have put radiator. Radiator can use in vehicles, right? So that, that knowledge you should have, right? So those because not only uh, what is in the uh, what is in the book, right? You should know when you are following ICT, you should be able to understand day to day things, day to day uh, how the computers are working, how they are working, uh, how we can uh, use them for which purposes we can use we can use them for, right? Different things you have to have idea. Okay, I am going to unit three, number system part, right? So I'm uh, summarizing now. Uh, I believe that you have done this stuff, right? Now I uh, we actually what we are doing is uh, we are like those who are having problems and uh, still so even you have studied still uh, you can't remember some stuff. So we are revising them. We are revising them. So try to uh, uh, now when you are coming to other seminars even you can go through your notes and come then it will be easy for you to understand this stuff, right? Okay, when you take number system, we have different numbers, different numbers. Uh, we have decimal numbers, octal, binary, and hexadecimal. Each number system, you have numbers. Now here, decimal number from 0 to 9. Decimal numbers, you have numbers from 0 to 9. Octal you have 0 to 7. Binary you have 0 to 1. Hexadecimal you have to 0 to 15 where uh, 10 from 10 to 15 you have to represent with English capital letters. right? So these things are the basic things when you are working on the number system. So each number system base value is there. Here base value is 10, here 8, here 2, here 16. So when you take the base value, base value is depending on how many numbers are there. Now when you take decimal number system, 0 to 9 numbers, that means all together 
10 numbers are there. So that is the base number. Octal 0 to 7 number. All together, 8 numbers are there. That is the base number. So binary and the hexadecimal also same. Now, if I ask, there's a number system. Uh, base value is 12. Base is 12. Put me the answer in chat. You can put the answer. I am asking what are the numbers it can have? What are the numbers it can have? Put your answers quickly. The chat you can type and send me. What are the numbers? Now base value 12. I am telling there is a number system. Uh, base value is 12. What are the numbers you can have in that number system? Okay, so numbers zero to okay. Now enough. Uh, you are sending one, one you have sent one to level, not one to level, should be zero to level, zero to level, right? Uh, see, uh, number should be zero to level all together, 12 numbers, all together, 12 numbers, right? So that is the basic thing that you should know. Then there's something called uh, before I go to conversion, if I go to conversion. Uh, there's something called most significant bit and least significant bit. Oh, most significant digit and least significant digit. There are two different things, right? Most significant digit, right? If I take a number, this is least significant digit. If I take a number, right? So more, uh, the left side, non-zero first value is called most significant digit here. One is the most significant digit. Least significant digit means last digit, last digit of the number. So it is five. If I take something like this, 1760. Here, most, I'll take 2000. And there was, I'm taking same number. So here, most significant digit is two. Least significant digit is zero. Here, you have a value for the zero. Here you have the value for zero because if you don't put the zero, now you can see two, 276. So you have a value. So you have to take the zero even when it is a whole number, when it's a whole number. If I tell something like this, so it's zero you, you are not taking. Most significant digit is two. Least significant digit is six, right? That is the root. Now, if I take, if I take, uh, fraction number, something like this. Right? If you take a fraction, non-zero first value, you are taking more significant digit. Non-zero last value. If you get a fraction uh, decimal places like this, you have to take non-zero last value. That is, 7 is the least significant value because even you put zero you don't get the value for this right uh, if i take something like another another one i'll take 0 0.005201 here most significant digit is five least significant digit is seven right so uh, when you take the fraction even non zero first value and non zero last value, we have to take right. So, same thing, same thing, same rules you have to apply for most significant bit, least significant bit. Bit is coming for what you don't get for the normal, numbers. you are getting it for binary values only 101.101. One zero one dot one zero one. So, here. What is the most significant bit is here, this one, this significant bit is this one. Same rule, same rule is applied. Non-zero first value you have to take as a most significant bit. Non-zero last value you have to take as a least significant bit if it is a fraction. Normal number 1010, zero, zero, you get one for the uh, most significant bit, zero for the least significant bit. So that is the rule, right? So same rule you have to uh, follow. Then I will uh, go to, uh, Number system conversion, I've just explained them.
decimal number you are getting a decimal number you have to convert it to binary you have to convert it to octal you have to convert it to hexadecimal these are the number system you have to convert it to binary so i am getting i'll take a 25 to make it to binary you have to divide by 2 so i'll take here 12 remaining is 1 12 divided by 6 remaining is 0 6 divided by 3 remaining is 0 3 divided by 2 1 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 you have to put the base value that is the binary number so you have to just divide by base value actually you have to divide by base value here you are dividing by 2 if you take octal i'll take the same example because i can uh, divide quickly right uh, 25 so 3 24 remaining is 1 you can't divide it again you stop there from uh, bottom to top that 31 31 is the value right if you take uh, hexadecimal i'll take uh, 27 yeah? divide by 60 so one is there remaining value is uh, 11 so when you take 11 in the hexadecimal you have to represent it with b capital b so i can write the answer 1 b my uh, base value is 60 so this is the basic thing when you are converting right then I don't know whether I'm fast, but you have uh, done this stuff. Uh, one of you have, is asking, sir, can MSB and LSB both be same? Yes, and can be because uh, a more significant bit and least significant bit means it's a binary value, right? It's a binary value. Uh, all the time it's coming, it can be one, but uh, the places you are having is different. The places you are having is different, right? Okay, the uh, other, other way around, I'll take the other way around. You have a binary number, you have a binary number, you have to convert it to decimal. You have an octal number, you have to convert it to decimal. Hexadecimal, you have to decimal. So I take binary, one zero, one zero. Right? So here you have to, from right hand side, you have to put the power. Power, you have to start with two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three. Like that, you have to. Put the power, but no need to do the everything what I am doing on the board. So this is the, the, the way you have to do. But now if you can at once, now to the power 0 is 1, to the power 1 is 2, to the power 2 is 4, to the power 3 is 8. Without putting this power, if you put 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 250, like that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? So when I am converting, you have to take only the values which have number one. If you don't, if you have zero, you are not taking the 10. Relevant value you are not taking. Here zero, even one is there, you don't take. But here two, because of one, you are taking that value, two plus eight also available because of one. So altogether 10, this is the value. 10 is coming from this binary value. Now, if I take a uh, octal, Octal also the same. Now instead of two to the power, you are you you have to put eight to the power eight to the power zero eight to the power one. Here you get eight to the power one is zero is one eight to the power one is eight. So one into three you get three. Eight into two you get sixteen. Sixteen plus three uh, nineteen. Nineteen is the answer, right? So that is. You are putting 8 to the power 0, 8 to the power like this, so on from right hand, uh, right hand side to left, you have to put the power. So that is octal to decimal. If you take uh, hexadecimal, then you take A5, A4, 16 power 0, 16 power 1. Right? So all the time, power 0 is 1, 16. So 1 into that. Now here you have 4. 1 into 4, you have to put 4. 16 into A means what? 10. So 16 into 10, 160. Altogether, 164 is the answer. 
164 is the answer. So this is the basic way of converting numbers. Then you will be, be getting different type. You are getting a octal number to make it binary. Octal number, oh, we'll take binary number. You are getting a binary number. Right? You have to make it octal. So what you are doing is you have to separate, you have to separate each three digits. So I am separating from here. And put the uh, values uh, like uh, what we uh, did earlier for converting binary to decimal. So one, two, four. Again, one, two, four. So find out the value for from each portion. Here you are getting one. Here you are getting one and four, you get five. So write them together, 51 in octal, 51 in octal, right? So that is binary to octal. If I take binary to hexadecimal from right hand side, you are separating each four digit. I'm separating here. So like that you are separating. So same way you have to put the power and get the value for each portion. Here you get three, one plus two. Here you get eight plus two, 10. So 10 you can't represent as normal. In hexadecimal, you know, 10 you have represent with capital A. So A3 is the answer. So now if you know one pattern, you can write it. It is uh, easy to remember, right? So we separate each four digit. Now other way around, we'll take a octal number, octal number to binary. I'm taking two, zero, three. Separate each digit and keep them in three binary digits, three binary digits. Now you know, zero you can represent with zero. So you put, but you had to put three zeros. 3, when you divide by 3, you divide by 2, 1, 1. Your answer is 1, 1, but you have to make it 3 digits. You put 0 and make it 3 digits. 2, 1, 0. If you want or you can put 0. Even you don't put 0 in front, doesn't matter. But you can't neglect these zeros. If you don't put these zeros, your value totally is different. But here you can miss that. You can neglect that. Doesn't matter. It won't affect it the whole answer. Right? So this is the way of finding octal to binary. Then uh, if I take a hexadecimal, if I take hexadecimal to binary, I take a, a three five, right? A three five, separate each digit. Now you have to represent each hexadecimal digit with Four binary digits, four binary digits. Five, you can put one zero one. If you want, you can divide five and uh, get the answer is like this, but you have to make it four digits. So because of that, I will put zero here. Then three, you can zero, zero, one, one. A is 10, one, zero, one, zero. So this is your, you uh, write them together, write them together. No need to put the separation like this, write them together. So your answer is that, right? So that is, uh, hexadecimal to binary. So I am going to convert octal number octal number to hexadecimal. I take uh, 57. My octal number is 57. So I am going to convert it to hexadecimal. Right? So first I am going to make it to binary. Just now we, we discussed Seven, you have each digit you have to represent with uh, three binary digits. So seven, one, 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 five, one, zero, one, right? So uh, I can write like, then when you get the binary, just now we discussed how to convert it to hexadecimal, you have to separate each four digit. Here you are separation. So one, two, four, eight, here one, two. Here you get 15, here you get two, but 15 you can represent because of that I'll put 2F. 2F is my answer. Right? 2F is my answer. Then we'll see hexadecimal to octal. 
hexadecimal to octal, right? I'm I'm going a bit far, far, uh, fast because now uh, we are having this seminar on every Wednesday, right? Every Wednesday, uh, we don't get. Uh, uh, I think uh, until end of uh, February we'll be getting around uh, eight or ten days maximum, right? So within that uh, few days, we have to uh, we are we have to summarize all these units and uh, doing some model papers also. That is our plan to give you the maximum benefit of this similar series, right? So I'm uh, going with pass. I'll uh, put my number later. I'll uh, give some instruction. If you have any problem, you can contact uh, one of our like panel uh, lectures. Doesn't matter, right? Okay. Then uh, I'll go to hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal to octal. So I am uh, taking uh, C four. C four. First, you convert it to binary, separate each digit. Four, you can represent. Uh, you have to represent with four binary digits. Four binary digits: zero, one, zero, zero. C means twelve. I can write one, one, zero, zero. Then I am writing this um, again. Now you separate. Each three digit, three digit. Here uh, one, two, four, like that. You have to put here. You get four. Here you get zero. Here you get three. So your answer will three hundred four in octal. So these are the things that you should know when you are converting the numbers, number conversions. These are the things that you should know, right? Then uh, we'll go to. Uh, Uh, there are different types of uh, uh, yeah coding systems are there coding systems are there you have uh, one is bcd bcd uh, you have only four bits that is 2 to the power 4 16 characters you can represent so bcd is used to represent only numbers 0 to 9 will be represented with bcd so each number you have to represent with four binary digits like that up to nine you have so if you get a number and ask you to write in the bcd i'm asking uh, 25 Write in BCD. If this is in decimal, you are writing BC. So each number I told you, you are represented with four binary digits. 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. Here, remember here, in BCD, you can't neglect these two zeros. Right? Now, I told uh, earlier, when you get a binary value, you can, uh, you can uh, neglect these two zeros. But BCD don't neglect them, then it will be wrong, right? So you have to put these two zeros even in when you are representing in BCD, right? So this is one coding system BCD. Then you have uh, ASCII, ASCII coding system, seven bits are there, two to the power seven, that is 128 characters you can represent, right? Uh, this is commonly used uh, character uh, coding system, right? Commonly used uh, coding system. Then, uh, then you have E B C D I C. You have eight bits, eight bits here. Two to the power eight. You can represent two hundred fifty six characters. Two hundred fifty six character. Uh, now E B C D I C. Uh, this coding system we're using in the mainframe computers, right? Now, now when you take ASCII, it's a linear, linear type of uh, representing. Now, if you take A is 65, this linear system, that means B is 66, C is 67. If you, now in the exam question also, when you are going through, you can understand. So we are getting a letter and asking us to uh, find out the difference. That this is in a decimal, you have to convert it to binary. You are converting your binary and you have to represent with seven bits only. Seven bits only, right? So uh, that is for ASCII. EBCDIC, you have eight bits, uh, to the power eight, uh, 256 characters can be represented. And it was using in mainframe computer. Nowadays, nowadays we are using Unicode. 
This is the coding system uh, nowadays we are using, right? So we have 16 bit, 2 to the power 16 equal 65,536. 65,536 characters can be represented with Unicode what we are having today, right? So that's why we are getting a chance to represent different language. We can type different language, Sinhala, uh, Tamil, Japanese, Chinese, whatever language we, if you know, we can type them because each character has, uh, and should, should have a unique code, unique code, right? So uh, actually when you convert it to it's a binary now, computer can understand ones and zeros. So whatever it is, it should be unique. Otherwise processor, processor actually control unit. Control unit is the uh, unit that is decoding instruction, decoding instruction. When this coding is going to this control unit, it should be able to understand which letter uh, this represent is, right? If you are having two different letters and the same coding, then it will be a problem, right? So you don't have that kind of thing happening in the computer. So different coding system has to be, uh, this Unicode actually, Unicode is giving chance to represent uh, so many characters, 65,000 as I told you, uh, different types of characters uh, in our the, today's uh, computer, right? Then uh, what will happen? So uh, actually this ones and zero now, uh, don't misunderstand, ones and zero so is not going inside the computer, computer inside the computer is going, it's a power current. Uh, current signal is going, right? So whatever it is, representing this kind of a value that is going to the control unit, then uh, it will be converted whatever the character that is mapping, mapping uh, some kind of a mapping thing is happening. So these coding system are used to represent this kind of characters. Now you can understand the BCD even we can't represent our uh, English um, alphabet team, right? So when it comes to uh, ASCII, uh, EBCD, IC and Unicode, you can represent several types of different types of uh, alphabets and different types of language. Then you have uh, data storage capacity, capacity will be getting kind of a question from this part also, right? This part also. And uh, other thing is Unicode, you can represent sounds, um, videos, graphics, even you can represent with uh, Unicode, right? Remember that. Then I will uh, talk about uh, small, uh, things about uh, data storage. The smallest, the smallest unit is bit. When you have four bit, we call one nibble. So eight bits, one byte. Thousand twenty four bytes, one kilobyte. Thousand twenty four KB kilobyte, one megabyte. 1024 megabyte, one gigabyte, GB, right? One gigabyte, then 1024 gigabyte, one terabyte. Nowadays we are having one, uh, two terabyte, uh, uh, this hard disk and all the system can find a terabyte. Nowadays we are using, uh, in future you will be getting petabyte also, that is uh, terabyte, 1024 terabyte, is one petabyte. So this is the thing you have to memorize now sometimes you are getting something like this asking two megabyte how many kilobyte so if you get now you know if you get meter meter in length meter and asking us to uh, convert it to a uh, centimeter we have to multiply if you are getting centimeter and uh, asking us to uh, convert it to uh, meters you have to divide same uh, here you have to apply here. Now megabyte, I want to make it to kilobyte. So what I have to do, you have to multiply by 1024, 1024. And uh, the thing is, uh, when you are multiplying this stuff, you will be getting like a value like a power. So to 100, 1024, you can represent 2 to the power 10. 2 to the power 10 is 1024, right? 2 and 2 is you can represent with 2 to the power 1, right? So when you are multiplying this, 
power you have to add them together. So two to the power eleven kilobyte you can put the answer. So now most of the students I have seen they are getting confused uh, with this uh, power, right? With this power you will be getting confused. Don't worry about the thousand to twenty-four. That is a uh, uh, to the power you have to memorize. 1024 is 2 to the power 10. So uh, for 5 to, 5 to 10 is 2 to the power 9. So, uh, 2048 is 2 to the power 11. Like that, uh, you have to calculate your system. Now, uh, sometimes you have to divide. I will show you how to divide even. I am getting 2 to the power 10 bytes. We take 2 to the power 32. 2 to the power 32 bytes and asking us to find out how many gigabytes are there. How many gigabytes are there? Now here 2 to the power 32 bytes. Uh, I am asked to find out how many gigabytes. So what I have to do? I have to divide. To byte kilobyte, I have to divide by 1024. I'll put 2 to the power 10. Again, uh, megabyte. 2 to the power 10. Again, gigabyte 2 to the power 10. I have to divide them all together 2 to the power 30. So, dividing in the power, you have to subtract. So, here your answer will be 2 to the power 2, that is 4 GB. 4 GB is my answer. So, this kind of things are coming for the exam even. So, you will be getting confused sometimes. Okay, what is this? How to find out? So, don't worry. So this is power, power you have taken, right? Okay, we'll go to some question related to uh, past papers and all that. I will share uh, some questions. Uh, okay, okay uh, I'm going to discuss them, right? So you can uh, write uh, down now, you can send me the answer even through the chat doesn't matter uh, but i am giving only few minutes uh, we'll uh, try to uh, complete we'll complete first one with the time being uh, uh, we i don't think we can discuss everything but uh, try to uh, do the first one do the first one this one right it is inside the bracket. You can so, uh, inside the bracket. You have uh, value uh, answers are there. You have to find out them. Okay, uh, renewal of Lysian. So we can renew that is citizen, G2C. This one should be G2C. Sri Lanka custom information that is given to another country, G, G2G. Information on business organization, uh, that is G2B. Government laws for the citizens, G2C. Forms and all that we are getting only for the employees. G to E, business registration, G to B. So these are things that is coming. Okay, I'll, I'll move to another question. I'll especially, I'm going to uh, discuss some past question. Okay, anyway, uh, try to uh, fill this out. I have extracted this question from the Education Ministry of Education. Uh, okay, try to uh, fill this one, guided media, but it should they come.
Okay, you have to uh, take this one. I'm skipping. Uh, try to uh, find out uh, this one. Find out the answers from the brackets. I have skipped some question that those are a bit easy. Secondary memory, what you can put? Should be hard disk, optical media, DVD, that is digital vers uh, versatile disk. Primary memory, uh, random access memory you can take. Uh, uh, primary memory you can take random access memory and the cache memory both you can take volatile also the same thing you can take cache memory and random access both non-volatile here you have to take hard disk dvd magnetic media you have to take hard disk right so same answer can be repeated uh, i'm not going to uh, ask you to do this one it takes time it takes time. If you are uh, uh, working on computer, either mobile phone, you can take a screenshot of this one and you can do it later. You can do it later. Uh, just take a screenshot. So it will take a bit uh, long time. So I'm not going to uh, discuss that. Okay, I'm moving to uh, forward. Ah, this is a bit confusing one that I taught you. Find out LSB, MSB, LSD and MSB, right? So make sure, now here, here make sure you are finding only relevant. Now, you don't get uh, LSB and MSB for whole numbers. You are getting it for only binary numbers. LSD and MSD, you don't get them to buy any, but for the whole numbers, right? Okay, find out them. Not giving much time. So here you get LSB and MSB only. MSB, this one is MSB. This zero is LSB. Here you get this one as MSB. This one as LSB. Here you get this one as LSB and MSB both. Now one of you have asked that, that kind of Question is, uh, is it uh, possible to uh, be the same number LSB and MSB? Yes, it's possible. This is the place. This is the place. So MSB and LSB is one. Right? Uh, when you take uh, this one, uh, LSD and uh, MSD, this is so again, you have to uh, same uh, same type of thing. Six is the MSD as well as LSD also. Uh, here MSD is 1, 5 is LSD, here again 1 is MSB, not the MSD, and this one is LSB, then 1 see this is the MSD and C is LSD. Okay, we'll go to the past paper question. I have extracted this question from uh, 2019 question, uh, 2019 paper, try to uh, find out the answers quickly. You can put them to the chat and then I can check whether you are doing nicely.
it's better if you can put me the question number. Okay, we'll move. Uh, first one, you have, most of you have put the correct answers. Good. So which of the following devices have both input and output capability touch screen? Then which of the following can be good practice to protect data information from computer hard disk failures? Hard disk failures. So that is backups, taking backups. That means if something happened to physically happens, which of the following is correct regarding generation of computers? Uh, that is a uh, fourth answer. Which of the following are rela related to uh, G2C, government to citizen service in Sri Lanka? Viving GC, all the result, ordering food item online, renewal, yeah, A and C. You also can view your result through online, the renewing vehicle revenue or ordering food item online that is not service from the government that is given from the uh, that uh, whatever the company, Pizza Hut or whatever the company they are giving, that's a service, right? Uh, then uh, which of the following is an example for data processing? Data processing. Uh, that is the first answer. Uh, one of you are asking, sir, for the second one is using of SSD applicable. SSD using SSD, yeah, you can take, you are taking, that is also taking backup, taking backup and uh, uh, storing somewhere else, right? So if some kind of thing is there, you can take, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll move to the next one. Now, the, these all these questions have extracted from 2019, 2019 paper. So you can understand from these three units, you will be getting such a uh, amount of questions, right? Okay. Okay, here your chance. Do up to ninth question.
Okay, we'll see. Most suitable computer type from the supercomputer, laptop computer, and tablet computer for the following application to process very large amount of data that are continuous to obtain through uh, satellite. It can be definitely a supercomputer for a writer to work on an essay during a vacation, vacation uh, away from home. So you can't take the uh, normal desktop computer. Definitely, you have to take a laptop for traveling sales representation to enter. item to a request while visiting so third answer should come seven consider the following statement with the blank label when processing the cpu uh um, uses its to remember store data and uh, that are brought from brought from okay so uh cpu uses its uh, uh registers registers to temporary store data that are brought from primary memory that brought from primary memory second answer should come so next one which of the following are correct regarding transmission media we discuss transmission media unshield twisted pair cables are suitable for transmit data for long distance long distance i don't think is correct Fiber optic cable transmit data faster than UDP. That's correct. Infrared data transmit is used to wireless keyboards to communicate with the computer. That is also correct. B and C. That is a uh, third answer should come. Third answer should come. Then we will go to ninth one. Which of the following statement are true? Binary form is used to store data and instruction in computer. Correct. Nine forty-five is valid number for both in the octal and hexa. Octal you can't take no octal uh, zero to seven, right? So that you can't take. Uh, Four hundred twelve is equal to one zero zero one. There is an octal number one zero zero. Then zero zero one zero. Yes, A and C. Third answer should come. Third answer should come. Now uh, most of you have put fourth answer. Why is that? B is wrong. Nine nine forty five is a valid number for both the octal and octal. You can't take nine. No? Uh, octal you have zero to seven only. Because of that, you can't take the uh, statement B. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Ten and eleven, and some uh, structure. Uh, set type question also. Okay, ten and eleven will will do. Which of the following? We'll see. Tenth one uh, shows uh, the given storage components uh, in descending mode of access speed. Descending mode of access speed. So descending mode of access speed means highest speed is having in the uh, uh, in the descent. When you are considering about descending order, highest speed should come at the first. So it should be uh, registers, cache memories. Third answer. Okay, next one. If character E is represented in the ASCII table sixty nine, what is the binary representation of character G? Now I told you when I was uh, discussing with the ASCII ASCII uh, coding, it is a linear uh, having linear uh, representation. So sixty nine is E. So seventy uh, is F. Seventy one is G. So seventy one, you convert it to binary, then you get the answer. Seventy one is 
71 uh, converted to binary get the answer so i think the answer is uh, 1000 one, one, one. that is uh, second answer should come second answer should come and convert it properly correctly 69 is e e f g f is 70 71 is g okay we'll move to uh, now these all these 11 question uh, came from uh, came to uh, 2019 question paper now you can understand how many question has come from these three units then uh, we'll go to uh, essay type question even i have extracted some uh, questions and 2018 question also i have put i'll give only few minutes try to uh, do them quickly First one, they are asking the Colombo Weather Center records daily rainfall values for one month. Write down two examples of information that can be found by processing the above mentioned date. You can take um, average rainfall uh, for a given district, average uh, rainfall for the uh, country, right? total rainfall for the country or district. So those are the information. Then identify these uh, ports. Different types of ports are given. Audio port, you can come to this one. HDMI, this is the HDMI, sorry. Uh, this is RJ45 that you use to uh, uh, connect uh, network cables. USB you have here, D. And VGA you have this one. Then convert uh, 1260 to octal A1 16 to its binary. Okay, do it quickly. Thousand two hundred sixty. It's octal. You have to divide by eight. Divide by eight. Thousand two hundred sixty. You will be getting. I'll uh, put the answers. Two thousand three hundred fifty-four in octal. Convert a one in its binary. Now it is in hexadecimal. You have to represent each digit with four binary. So a you can represent one zero one zero. One you can represent with 0, 0, 0, 0001. So these are the answers. Okay, we'll move to our 2018 question also. I am uh, I have taken up to 2018 uh, because uh, we have limited time. Okay. Try to do them quickly. MCQs put put your answers. First one, in which form is data and instruction stored in a computer? That's binary. First answer, very easy. Which of the following is the octal equivalent of decimal 156 divided by six, uh, eight? Divided by eight. You get uh, 234, second answer. Which of the following is the binary equivalent of hexadecimal 2B? You, I told you you have to represent with four binary digits. Uh, first one will be the answer. Which of the following list given in the ascending order? Ascending order, that means from smallest to large. Uh, there you have to 
uh, convert them to say we'll convert them to decimal convert them to decimal and find out the values then only you can understand so you have to find out you have to work on that do it quickly so when you convert this binary value uh, you are getting uh, Two hundred and thirty-one. You are getting uh, no, sorry, uh, one hundred and fifty-three. You are getting uh, if you get uh, hexadecimal one a at twenty-six is coming. So it should be. It should come. Uh, as the first value right when you convert them to a decimal uh, 1a is 26 right 1a is 26 so this is that is the smallest value so they are asking ascending so take the fourth answer fourth answer Not the descending, ascending order. You have to take the smallest value first. Then uh, uh, fifth one in which of the following number system in the number eight hundred a varied number can be decimal, octal it cannot. So decimal and hexadecimal yes. Second answer. Okay, we'll go to the essay type of question. Okay, that's all. Do it quickly. If character M is represented in ASCII table hundred and nine, so definitely N should be hundred and ten. O should be hundred and eleven. So convert it to binary and find the value. So, uh, one hundred and ten means should be one one zero one 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 zero. Uh, no, the word no. That is M N O. M is given. N is one hundred and ten. O is one hundred and eleven. So it should be one one zero one 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 one. So this is the answer. Then uh, last question. a uh, desktop computer was uh, purchased yeah you have to match the ports yeah uh, led display had to go to vga uh, connect keyboard usb c c Connect network cable here B. Connect power cable A. Right. So uh, I have extracted only 2019 and 2018 questions only. Right. So uh, now I am uh, giving you a link. I am sending through the chat. Everyone. So uh, don't start it now. i think you all are getting that i will share that one also right so uh, this is the link you will be getting 20 questions here right 20 questions here and we are going to select who is the best right who is the best which which one is the best school whether it's a government school or whether it's a private school which are rice here mr ans are there right so we'll see who are doing well uh, we are going to select them uh, Who are taking the highest mark, 
and uh, your result will be published in uh, tomorrow in your uh, group i will share the link also in uh, uh, notepad link also i'll share so the, the those who couldn't actually uh, we had around uh, 200 somewhat in our group so those who uh, couldn't participate uh, for the seminar i think uh, most of you are experiencing this uh, bad weather so you can go to my uh, channel ict anil sir right there i will be uploading uh, this uh, session today itself so you can ask your friends to uh, check this um, seminar this um, lessons uh, i'll give my whatsapp number no double century 656 Four, three, four. Some of you have put answers. I don't have time to uh, answer at the moment. Just uh, put me a message so I I'll help you uh, related to these three units because uh, you will be getting chance to uh, work with another teacher, another uh, teacher uh, in other units. So sometimes I'll be uh, like coming back for some other units even because we have like. uh so many units to cover so uh if you have any problem uh, some of you have put uh, some messages at the with the time i i don't have um, chance to uh, answer all these uh, queries so you can put a message uh, and you can go to this uh, channel um, there i have uploaded some uh, more materials and uh, those who missed uh, today's lesson also can be watch uh, within another uh, few minutes so um, i will share share my uh, link also i have put the link i will ask uh, i'll put that link to the uh, whatsapp group also but uh, i'll be taking the answers like uh, from uh, now it's uh, 9 8:45 uh, uh, 9:30 i am not, uh, from after 9:30 i am not going to take the answer so you have to Uh, answer that answer and submit that google form that is uh, lcq quiz uh, before that time after that i am not uh, going to take the answers out of them i am going to select the uh, students who are take, uh, who has uh, taken the highest mark so uh, i will uh, wind up for the day before that uh, i want to especially thank uh, mrs shreemali our ict directors in our zonal education office for uh, giving us a chance to serve you all right uh, she is uh, uh, really uh, worrying about your result caring about your result so uh, she has uh, organized such a kind of a seminar series single medium and english medium both and our uh, isa mr chanak and jagat and all our ict teachers uh, who are supporting us to uh, make this effort um, reality and a special thanks goes to mr chandana vikramarachi is our math teacher in our school uh, takshila college so i want to uh, uh, give him a like thanks because uh, he's uh, helping us to uh, manage this um, zoom accounts and all that uh, so thanks for participating so uh, we'll meet on uh, next wednesday with another session so uh, i will share i will uh, share that uh, link again here also you can see those who didn't get the link uh, you can take a screenshot even you can uh, later you can uh, type it and go or otherwise i have sent it to through the zoom uh, message i will put it the whatsapp group also now then you can do it and uh, do it before 9:30 before 9:30 Okay we'll uh, stop for the day have a nice day thank you all